Hi, my name is Adriana. Today I'll be testing the accuracy of my rating system. So I pretty much rate based on immediate vibes. Like as soon as I finish a book, I go into my little spreadsheet, I go into Goodreads, I go into Storygraph, and I put in all the same number that feels right based on vibes at the time. And I have found as time goes on, my opinion tends to change. Sometimes for the better, as is the case of the Kiss Quotient, I originally rated it like a 3.5. Now, with the benefit of time, I think I've softened a little bit and I would probably raise that in my brain. On the opposite end of the spectrum, I don't really want to talk about the opposite end of the spectrum. Things I've gotten more sour on as time goes on. But I feel like there is a little bit of discrepancy with my rating system as far as how long those numbers stand. Especially as I tend to immediately eject the plot of a book out of my brain as soon as I'm done with it. So I thought it might be kind of interesting to re-rate all the books I read in 2022, compare them to the ratings I gave them as soon as I finished them, and just do a little bit of fancy math and see what happens. Bailey from Is Bailey Reading has got me on this like math kick where she just suggests potential correlations between ratings and other random variables. And so far nothing has held true. So maybe it's just because my rating system is bad. So <laughs> let's test out my rating system and see what happens. Basically my methodology of how I'm gonna go about this, I have you can kind of see my, my screen here. I have like a little tier ranking system. I'm just going to tier rank all of the books I read in 2022 between one, two, three, four, and five. Once I'm done tier ranking all the books, I will kind of split that into probably half stars. I don't know, maybe I'll go to 0.25 stars. I do allow for 0.25 stars in like my spreadsheet and Storygraph obviously goes to 0.25 but we'll see how I'm feeling once I'm done with this part and then we'll open up my spreadsheet and start doing some math and see what happens. So I think what I will do is I will face toward my computer and I will start recording my screen and we'll just do a screen record. If I have anything interesting to say, I will put that in here is my cheating tier ranking whatever. I just have a picture of a tier ranking and then pictures of all the books I read. So we will start in chronological order. Six Crimson Cranes. I don't have any real particular feelings about that. I don't remember really much of anything about it. I think it was kind of fun. It was probably like a high three, low four. We'll put it at the top of three for now and go from there. Starless Crown, solid four. Death of the Nile, whoa, probably a solid three. Love Hypothesis, loved this. Had such a good time. I think I'm gonna put it at the bottom of five. Cloud Cuckoo Land, ooh, solid five. Really enjoyed that. One to watch. I really did enjoy that. I think I'm gonna put it at the bottom of four. Portrait of, the th of a Thief. Ah, let's say middle high three. Know my name, top of five. Again, the magic. Let's say that's probably mid three. Pines, loved this. I'm gonna put it low five. Ooh, this was not good. This is one of the ones I feel like I've probably soured on it. I'm gonna put it at two. Well, we'll give it solid two. Poppy War, loved. Ooh, we'll put it here. Only I could tell you, I mean, it was definitely better than Beginners. I might have to push Beginners down, but I did not enjoy this book. Dragon Republic, I think, honestly, I'm pretty sure I gave it a five, but at this point, probably a high four. Color Me With Apples, that was a five. We'll just kind of stick her right there. A Thousand Ships. I think it was well written, but I'm just not a Trojan War girly. Orhan's Inheritance, Queerly Beloved. I enjoyed this, this was a good time. Bottom of four. Memory Librarian, that and four. Burning God, I think that was like there. Pandora's Jar, ooh. I'm gonna say that's a high four. Arsenic and Adobo, it was a fun, cozy mystery. Honestly, I think it's probably like the highest of the threes. 
Electra. Uh, it's kind of in the same boat as A Thousand Ships. Well written, but just not my jam. Diablo Mesa. I did really enjoy this one, but the ending made me a little nervous for where the general series is heading. So I really liked this one, but I know I am nervous with the series going forward. Fiona and Jane was fine. Honestly, I think now that I'm looking at what I have selected, I think I need to push these ones down a little bit in the three. I think Fiona and Jane is probably also down there too. Upgrade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wayward. We're going to put in the four. And last town I think is honestly probably the Broken Oath. We're going to put right here. Daughters of Sparta, that was a five. Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Uh, I'm -er. <laughs> Hate to do it to you, but like. Uh, the Book Eaters. I'll put that up here. Ithaca. Uh, uh, put right here. Spanish Love Deception, I really enjoyed. I know a lot of people have their feelings on it, but I think. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I'm gonna have so many five stars. <laughs> Fiction, either memoirs or just stuff that's hard to rate. I guess Detransition is the only fiction, but I just didn't really want to rate that. So let's decide where we're going to draw the line for stars. <laughs> cool. Okay. So everything across the top is fives, 4.75, 4.5, and fours, four, uh, 3.5, 3.25 and threes, 2.5s and twos. So I think now that we have that all kind of defined, I will plop all the new information into a spreadsheet and we'll play around with that. Okay, so now I got all of the data in the spreadsheet with my breakdowns of what I have rated it now versus the original. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just subtract my scores from now from my scores originally and just kind of get a feel for, I don't know, what's what. Honestly, a lot more of these matched than I had anticipated. So maybe the vibes score isn't too far off. Seeing a lot of zeros, some negatives. <laughs> Seems that as time goes on, I find books worse. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Very, very interesting. I think I'm going to add all of these together. Okay. So overall, so I just did a quick addition of the difference between those two scores and I got a negative 4.5, which means that overall I'm rating stuff worse more often than I'm rating stuff positively, or I'm at least rating stuff worse on a larger level. So let's just take a quick average of that column and just see what the average 
of that whole dealio is. Okay, so on average, the average is basically zero. Okay, so what if I did this, but I wanna do the absolute value, meaning I don't wanna see if it's neg positive or negative, I just wanna see the overall difference. Overall absolute difference with all of my scores added together was 23 and the average difference over the course of all the books that I rated was about a quarter of a star. So I am off by a quarter of a star on average, one way or another. I think I wanna make a histogram of my differences. I am interested in that. All right, created my histogram. Basically what this histogram is showing is that most of the time I hold true, which I feel like I was really padded by a lot of my five stars. A lot of the stuff that I rated five stars right when I read it, I still feel is a five star and I love it. So I think that's where a lot of that is coming from. And then I do tend to lean more negative than I do to the positive. The only one that had like a really significant difference from three points to five points was Have a Hot Time Hades, one of my little Greek mythology chapter books. I did not realize I was so meant about it. I just have really fond memories of rereading that series. So I thought I gave the first one a five. I did not. And it looks like a couple of these had one point. It's like Hawthorne Legacy went down a full point, Phone Home Persephone went up a full point, and then Daughter of the Moon Goddess went down a full point, which I talked about that in my book review of the sequel. I did read that one on vacation, so I think that one had a little bit of booster from vacation. <laughs> but overall, I tend to rate stuff higher in the moment, and now when I go and look back on it, it was not as good as I remember it being. So maybe take that into account when you are listening to my reviews. I am probably overhyping it by, you know, 0.25 of a star. But overall, this is kind of a fun exercise for me. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what kind of rating system you use. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.